this is code.org and this is my awesome scene look at it change we've done so much uh and maybe it looks something like yours all right the surprise in your card comes from the surprise in your card comes from conditionals that don't directly respond to user input but to some other element of your card. This could be triggered by a variable that gets updated as the user interacts with your card, or a sprite moving into a certain part of the screen. Either of those would work. For each of the remaining items on your interactive table, add an if block or if else block if you need a fallback action inside the draw loop. Add the appropriate Boolean comparison block to the condition Add necessary actions inside the if block. So, for each of the remaining, we have a bunch of conditions already, which is awesome. Let me hit reset here. What we want to work on then is our surprise. And to do this, we saw in the examples that I talked about earlier, they were using variables. So I'm going to do exactly as they did. Let me hit reset. Variable control. And I'm going to say var right var hmm, count okay or var interaction i'll do count equals zero so now we have a variable that's just equal to a number and i'm going to use it to see if they interact with the card okay you could do if they move the mouse 10 times if they pressed a button 10 times however you want i'm going to make sure they've interacted with the card so maybe i will say uh press down over robot hmm space and what's the most complicated you know what i'm gonna do it either for the elephant or for my nested if i want them to find the stone so if they do this that's the most complicated all right so i'm going to put inside of here nope i want just a counter just kidding all right so i'm gonna go to variables and say x equals something. Where will I do this? Let's do it over the robot. So mouse pressed over robot. Now keep in mind mouse pressed over robot, if they hold it down, that will count for like a billion presses. Which is why I'm thinking, actually I'll do it here. All right, so for this, I did a double conditional, right? I said if space key is pressed and if the mouse is less than 300, and what I'll do here is count is equal to count plus one. So if I'm doing that, the count will go up. And let's go ahead and monitor our variable count. I'm going to use the debug tool and hit add and run now. And I need to hit uh, space, right? Mouse is. Oh, mouse has to be up here. And so if I hold space, that will count up super fast. Now, my surprise, I think will be at a let's do a hundred so i want another condition now if i'll put it here i could put it after all my movement stuff okay so if count is greater than 100 and it's totally up to me what i would want to do here okay so if counts greater than 100 i'm just going to make my cow uh also jiggle like rotate like a very uh with a random number so i'm gonna go to sprites and i'll say sprite dot rotation no you know what i want to change my cow too i'm gonna be rebellious so if counts greater than 100 my cow will explode and become what do i like what do i want elephant elk <gasps> hippo hmm definitely the elk all right so if counts greater than 100, I'm going to change the animation of my cow to a elk. Reset run. Oh, oh that's what I wanted. Great. Cow. And now it won't make as much sense, but that's okay because I named it cow. So here we are. Let me hold space and I can watch count being monitored. And what should happen? Surprise! Elk! Yay! All right. Boolean comparisons, right? So I did that. If something was equal, this is a Boolean, counts greater than, and I added a variable. Awesome. Let's uh, keep going.